What's up, it's Cody, welcome back to the channel. Now over the past few months, I've noticed a slight decline in the amount of Spotify traffic going through my page, and I think this is largely due to the lack of commute and the lack of people using Spotify in general. There are a lot more people staying home right now, and while you may think that they'd be listening to more music and using Spotify more often, Spotify numbers have actually decreased and their monthly users have gone down over the past few months. And if you're anything like me, you're always trying to grow your following and you wanna see growth in your numbers month after month. So while it may be more challenging than ever to try to grow your numbers, I thought I'd give you 10 tips on how to increase your Spotify streams and followers. So the first thing you can do is hit the like button down below to help with the YouTube algorithm. It seriously helps out me and my channel so much. It helps this video get seen by many more people. So if you find a video like this helpful, please, if you could just take one second and smash the little thumbs up button down below until it turns blue, that'd be so greatly appreciated. So thank you in advance. Okay, tip number one is to submit your music to playlist curators. Spotify is all about playlists. Their editors have created such a strong following behind their playlists and keep pushing them to more and more people. If you go on the app, you're always gonna see a new playlist popping up that they want you to listen to. So it's so important that if you're releasing a song that you submit to be playlisted on Spotify. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I'll link a video to it down below. Be sure to go check it out because this is seriously gonna be the number one way to help increase your streams on a new release. Now, Spotify playlisting goes beyond just the Spotify curated playlist. What I suggest you do is also reach out to anybody with a decent following on their playlist and see if they'll feature your song. Now, I wouldn't suggest wasting your time with a smaller playlist that only has 20 or 30 followers behind it. We're looking for something with a thousand or more followers. It's gonna be beneficial to find a playlist with fewer songs in it so that your song has a better chance of getting heard. If there's a thousand songs in this playlist, your song isn't gonna show up very often and you're not gonna get as many streams as if there's only 50 songs in this playlist. So find a playlist with a hundred or less songs in it that's updated regularly and a thousand or more followers and reach out to the curator of these playlists and see if they'll feature your song on it. These playlist curators are always looking for new songs to keep their playlists up to date. So just reach out to them with an email and see if they wouldn't mind featuring you in it. All right, tip number two is build your image. There's an old saying, dress for the job you want. And this comes down to having a good image behind your band. Especially if you're trying to get a song playlisted, you wanna make sure that when someone clicks on your artist profile, that it looks good. Of course, having strong songs and great sounding music is very important, but if you don't have the image to back it, nobody's gonna take you very seriously as a musician. We live in an age where it's very easy to come up with digital content and media, so make sure that your image looks good and that your profile is up to date. When someone clicks onto your artist page, you wanna make sure that you look as presentable and as professional as possible. If someone who likes your music clicks onto your artist page and it's really neat and organized and you have a nice set of images and a nice biography, you're gonna have a better chance of getting them to follow you. This also applies for Spotify playlist curators and any music industry professional like management or a record label. If you have a good looking page, you're gonna have a much better chance of a playlist picking up your song and any music industry professional to take you seriously. All right, tip number three, support other artists and their music. Musicians are family and we need to make sure that we stick together and help each other out. When your friends release new music, be sure to share it from all of your social media platforms and really help push their songs as best as you can. There is no competition when it comes to releasing music and there is room for all of us to succeed. Reach out to other artists and musicians in your scene and see if you can do a music swap with them. Simply share each other's music from your own social media accounts and try to push your following to go listen to the other band. Not only is this gonna help you create a strong working relationship with other musicians, but it's also gonna help you gain a stronger audience and, and an audience that you might not have reached before. In addition, musicians are some of the biggest fans of music out there. So by reaching out to another band or another artist, you might gain them as a fan as well. I know for me personally, all of my favorite musicians are people that I met and considered my friends. So make sure to work with other artists and team up the best you can to help each other out. All right, tip number four is to promote to record labels. Many record labels have very strong followings and a lot of them have really good Spotify playlists with decent traffic that goes through them. Most of these labels have an email submission to get your music on their playlist and it definitely doesn't hurt to reach out to them. Not only will getting picked up by a label playlist help get you more streams more followers, but you'll also gain the attention of the record label that could lead to more things in the future. This has kind of replaced the old school method of mailing out demo CDs to record labels. Now instead, you can email them directly with links to your music and social media, and not only will someone from there be able to check out your music, if they like it, they'll add it to one of their playlists. This is such a great way to get onto a record label's radar, and it could lead to so many possibilities in the future, so I'd highly recommend doing this one. All right, tip number five is to generate an email list. Now, while I know this is a little bit more of an old school approach, this can 
can still be very beneficial. Making posts through social media only goes so far and it's not gonna reach all of your followers. But by having an email list, you're gonna make sure that all of your followers see whatever you send them. Now, if you don't already have an email list, the best way I know of to get started is with DistroKid. When you have new music set to be released and you've used DistroKid to upload it to Spotify and Apple Music and all the other music streaming services, they're gonna provide you with a pre-save link and anybody who clicks on that link and pre-saves your music is gonna have to provide their email. So if you have yet to start an email list, I'd highly recommend doing it this way. I'll link a video down below on how to create the pre-save link and exactly how that all works. So be sure to check that one out. All right, tip number six, make sure that you share your Spotify links everywhere. Social media is king. If you want to maintain a following, you need to make sure that you're active on social media and posting. This is going to be the greatest way to make sure that you maintain and gain new followers. And one of the greatest things you can do with social media is share your Spotify links. With my own band, I do this weekly. Every Monday morning, I share a unique Spotify link, whether it's just to one of our songs or to an album or to our artist page as a whole. So be sure to remind your following every once in a while to go check out your Spotify page and ask them to go listen. And this can extend far beyond your own personal social media account. What I've done in the past is join various Facebook groups of the genre that my band plays in, and people are often posting looking for new music or new playlists. And all you have to do is just go through the comments and drop in your band right there. You'd be surprised just how effective dropping a link to your Spotify page in the comments can be. Now with this, be sure that you're not just doing copy paste, copy paste. Try to be a little bit personal with it. Explain why someone might like your music and, and try to gain a one-on-one -on -one connection before just dropping the link. Now, if you want to try this out for yourself, go ahead and drop your Spotify link down in the comments below and let me know why I should listen to it. Try to use this as an exercise to create a short little blurb as to why someone might want to listen to your music. I'll be sure to click on it and maybe others will as well. So go ahead and drop a comment down below. All right, tip number seven. Be consistent. We live in an age in the music industry where singles and playlisting is the number one priority. While it's a lot of fun to work on a full length record and release that as a whole, singles really do dominate the market and are the best way to get your music heard. Releasing singles consistently is not only gonna help you optimize your chances of getting a song featured in a Spotify playlist, but it's also gonna help to maintain and grow your listeners over time. There's nothing worse than putting out all of your music at once and seeing your page blow up for a month only for it to drop back down to where it was a couple weeks later. By releasing consistently, not only only are we going to maintain our monthly listeners, but we're also going to give ourselves an opportunity to improve every release as we go. We always want to be improving and we want to make sure that there isn't a lack of quality. Sometimes by going with an EP or an album, we're sacrificing quality for quantity and that's not always the best option. We want to get better with every release, so make sure you're doing all that you can to improve even just by the slightest amount every time. All right, tip number eight is have good cover art. Now this goes back to image and dressing for the job that you want. Whether you're trying to get your song playlisted on Spotify or trying to have someone new listen to your music, the first thing that they're gonna see is your cover art. And so you need to make sure that this looks very strong. Now don't get me wrong, developing good looking cover art is very difficult and it's gonna take a lot of time and practice in order to get it right. But us as humans are such visual driven people that even when it comes to something like music, the visual is still very, very important. It's gonna be the first thing that we see. So make sure that you don't skip over your cover art. Put in the appropriate amount of time and effort to really come up with something that you're gonna be proud of for the long term. Which leads me into tip number nine, focus on the long term, not the short term. Nothing comes quick in life and the chance that you're gonna have a hit and blow up overnight is very, very rare. Focus on maintaining consistent releases and improving your craft over time. Your music is only gonna get better and with more releases means more chances to please the Spotify algorithm and get your song playlisted. Seriously, having Spotify push your song is gonna help you more than you can even imagine. I know from my own streams, most of our music either comes from listeners playlists or Spotify algorithmic playlists. So make sure that you're doing the best that you can to please the Spotify algorithms and working on your release strategy as you go. Play the long game and try to figure out what works best for you and go from there. And tip number 10, it's to just be patient. As I said, nothing happens overnight. As long as you're staying active, staying positive, and continuing to make music, you're gonna see results over time. You started making music because it's fun, so make sure that you continue to enjoy making it. Make sure that you're releasing consistency, try to improve just a little bit over time, and the rest will all come naturally. I hope you found at least some of these tips helpful. These are some things that have worked for me, and I'm sure that if you try them out, they will work for you as well. Making music and releasing it effectively can be a lot of work and does require a lot of effort. But the results of seeing your music and you as an artist grow over time is gonna be so, so worth it in the long run. So by following these 10 tips, I really think that you're gonna give yourself the best chance to succeed in the future. Now I'm curious, which of these 10 tips do you think you're gonna try out? Drop a comment down below and let me know. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please, 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 if you could just do me a huge favor and just hit the little like button down below, it seriously helps me out so, so much, so thank you in advance. And if you don't wanna miss out on any more of my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I post music industry-related videos weekly, 
So be sure to check that out. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.